previous video we have seen cardinal approach of utility analysis that means consumer behavior that has been examined on cardinal approach now today we are discussing the consumer behavior through ordinal approach ordinal approach means we are giving rank which which who gives more satisfaction that will be given rank first the consumer which likes second one that is given as two so that is what is called ordinal approach so this approach was initiated by proposed by Hickson Allen that is what is called indifference curve analysis which is called as ordinal approach utility approach cardinal approach what is the meaning of cardinal that is utility is measured in numericals but here utility is measured in order order means giving rank so let us see what is indifference curve indifference curve before going to indifference curve should know the budget line budget line means budget line is a locus of different combination of the two goods whose cost exactly equal to his income is here consumer budget line means is a locus locus means what locus means joining what to join different combination of two goods so here we have to imagine that a consumer is going to purchase different goods or two goods in a different combination that is what the combination of two goods whose cost exactly equal to his income equal to consumer's income so consumer is going to get the things equal to his income he can't purchase more than his income as you all know that we have to purchase the goods and services according to what income we are having in our pocket so this is what exactly equal to his income another two concepts are there budget set opportunity set so this can be understood by diagram let us go to diagram see here budget line table is there budget line table tells that our consumer is having 20 rupees income his income is 20 rupee he can purchase two goods two means here one apple another one banana let us imagine apple rupees 4 each and banana rupees 2 each so how much banana and apple can a consumer who is whose income is 20 can purchase this is the thing now now see these are the combination combination of two goods combination of two goods apple and banana in the first combination he can purchase five apple five fours are 20 that's why he can't purchase any banana zero banana he has purchased he can't purchase banana because all his income has been spent over apple see second combination four apple so he has sacrificed one apple to purchase another more bananas here so he can purchase four apple each apple rupees 4 four fours are 16 and four rupees are there so that he can purchase two bananas of each two rupees cost so it equals to 20 in the same way various combination of two goods whose income is equal to sorry no whose combination expenditure equals to his income this is what we call budget line in previous slide we have seen budget set and opportunity set by this table we have understood budget line we have to discuss now budget set and opportunity set so let us see now what is budget set budget set means various combination see here e f g h i j these are all various combination of two goods see here 5 0 4 2 3 4 2 6 1 8 0 10 so these are all the various combinations each combination of two good is called as budget set combination of two good one this is what i call one set this is second set 
This is third set. So that is what you call budget set. The same thing is also called as opportunity set. There is no difference between budget set and opportunity set. In examination, may be asked. Sometimes you are asked to write what is budget set. Sometimes they ask you what is opportunity set. So don't get confusion. So here both are same. Budget set and opportunity set. Both are same. So once again, we are discussing what is budget set. Budget set is combination of two goods whose expenditure is equal to consumer's income. So that's what you call budget set. What's the other name for budget set? Opportunity set. It's also called as opportunity set. If we join all the set of various combination of two goods, he is called as budget line. I think you have understood what is budget line. Budget line means combination of or locus of. Locus means joining of various combination of two goods whose expenditure is equal to consumer's income. So let us now see which can be expressed in a diagram. What we have seen in the previous slide. So this is the diagram of budget set or budget line table. So here you see banana. How much of bananas he can purchase? This is how much of apples he can purchase. So these are all budget set. You see them? E, F, G, H, I, J. These are all budget set. Budget set is also called as opportunity set. So locus means joining. See we are joining J, I, H, G, F, E. So these combinations are joined by a line. That line is called as budget line. I hope you have understood budget line. So within the budget line he has to purchase. He can't go for C combination. Why? Because it is unattainable combination. Unattainable means it's not possible. Why it's not possible? Because here, income is here, the expenditure here is here. So he can't match this. Means it's the gap between expenditure and income. Income is short. Income karne de. Il expenditure just de. Ni matra no rupai de. Adi no rupai kore beko. Agata agala. Atwa ipat rupai de. E example in income is similar to ipat rupai de. Agala e combination ye. Ayo rupai kore beko. Agala mua rupai short de. So haga e combination ye hoka agala. That's why it is unattainable combination. See here D. Income is underspent. Income is underspent. What's the meaning of underspent? Means he is not spent all of his income. He is saving in this combination. In this combination is possible he can purchase, but it is underspent. Means he, he has not spent all of his income here. So he will be saving this. So this is what we call budget set, budget line and opportunity set. So here in these two slides we have understood what is budget line, what is budget set, what is opportunity set. So next we go for effect of a change in the income of the consumer. This is budget line AB, AB. This is A dash B dash. This is AB. So these two are budget line. Why budget line has moved towards the right? If income is increased, see here, if consumer's income is 20 rupees, he could purchase OA quantity of banana, OB quantity of apple. This is budget line. It is exactly equals to his income. Now, Consumer income has increased to 50 rupees, 20 to 50. Then his purchasing capacity increases. That's why budget line has jumped to rightward. Rightward shift, it may also take rightward shift or leftward shift. If it takes rightward shift, it means his income has increased. If it if it takes leftward shift, his income has decreased. If a consumer income decreases, then here one budget line comes. Then his 
capacity of purchasing banana and apple comes down. So this is what the effect of change in the income of the consumer over budget line. If his income increases, budget line shift to right word. If his income reduces, budget line shift to left word. So this may be asked in the examination. What is the effect of change in income over the consumer on budget line? So we have understood what is budget line, what is budget set, what is opportunity set and what is the impact of change in income of the consumer over budget line. So budget line means focus, locus of all combination of two goods which are whose expenditure exactly equals or less than consumer's income. Budget set means combination of two goods that a consumer can purchase. Opportunity set means there is no difference between opportunity set and budget set. So here the shift in budget line. If budget line shift to right word, what's the meaning? His income has increased. If budget line shift towards left, what's the meaning? His income has decreased. Now let us see forward. See, effect of change in the income of the consumer. Here, budget line, there is no change in the case of banana. But budget line has shift forward, right side, in the case of Atu. What is this meaning? See here, banana's cost or price has not changed. That's why, he is purchasing same amount of banana here. Here apple cost or price has come down. Apple cost has come down. That's why he has purchased more apple now. See, because of decrease in the cost of price of apple, that has resulted in the increase of real income of a consumer. So real income increases, what happens? He can purchase more number of apple. So that's why budget line has increased in the case of apple. Why? Because apple price has come down. Because of ap apple's price has come down, what is the impact of change in price on consumer's income? Income has increased. His purchasing power has increased. So what he does? He goes for more apple. Because apple price has come down, now he could purchase more apple. There is no change in banana's purchase because banana's price, there is no change. So it is constant. It has decreased. That's why he has purchased more. This is the effect of income. Means real income. Effect on real income because of change in price. Let us see here. So same. Ulta. Apple price has changed in the previous slide. This is the apple change in the notice. The apple price change in the notice. This is the banana price change in the notice. This is the banana price change in the notice. Exactly. It has come down. That's why. Come here. Just like that. Just like that. That's why. See here. B1 means new budget line. Banana's price has increased. That's why now he has reduced the purchase of income of banana. But there is no change in the price of apple. Apple price and they don't even. That's why he has not changed his purchasing quantity. But he has decreased his purchasing quantity because a banana's price has increased. That's why from OB to OB1, his purchasing capacity has come down. Why purchasing capacity has come down? Because banana's price increased. So what happens when the banana price increases? His real income comes down. Real income means his purchasing capacity comes down. That's why he has decreased his purchasing of banana. Number of banana has come down. So this is the effect of consumer income over budget line. Let us see further. See, different indifference curve schedule. Now we have to understand what is indifference curve. Till now we have understood budget line, budget set, opportunity set and the impact of change in income over budget line or 
change of prices of various goods, how it impacts over real income or purchasing power of a consumer. Now, we are understanding indifference curve schedule. Indifference curve schedule. Schedule means table. Indifference curve means indifference curve means the combination of two goods. Combination of two goods. In all the combination, consumer will be attaining maximum satisfaction. Whatever the combination. See here, units of biscuit and banana. So biscuit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See here, bananas 12, 8, 5, 3, 2. So various combination. 1 biscuit, 12 banana. 2 biscuit, 8 banana. 3 biscuit, 5 banana. 4 biscuit, 3 banana. So here various different combinations are there. In all the combinations mentioned A, B, C, D, E. These are the combination of two goods, biscuit and banana. In various combination, in all the combination, consumer satisfaction will be maximum. He will be indifferent, whatever the combination. So, in all the combination, his satisfaction will be maximum. That's what indifference curve says. Indifference curve means combination of two goods, a consumer purchase equal to his income, whose satisfaction maximum in all the combination, whatever the combination, he will be in satisfaction. That's what indifference curve says. Let us see the indifference curve through diagram. So previous table, we have various combinations. Here combinations are there A, B, C, D, E. These are the various combinations. See this, the combination of two car goods, biscuit and banana. Biscuit and banana, various combinations. That can be seen here. See there, 12 bananas and one biscuit sorry here 12 bananas will be getting one biscuit then 8 bananas 2 biscuit 5 bananas 3 biscuit then 2 bananas 5 biscuits so it means that this curve is rightward right in the right side down, downward sloping rightward downward sloping means we have to sacrifice one board in order to get the other good. That's what we call marginal rate of substitution. It is called as MRS. Marginal rate of substitution. What's the marginal rate of substitution? Marginal rate of substitution means to get one more banana. To get one more banana. He has to sacrifice four sorry, in order to uh, get one biscuit, he has to sacrifice four bananas. Then to increase one more biscuit, he has to sacrifice how much? Two bananas. In order to increase one more biscuit, he has to sacrifice one only one banana. So, sacrificing rate is coming down. Initially four, then three, then two, then one. So, four, three, two, one. This is what you call MRS, marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate of substitution is decreasing here. How can you say that it's decreasing? See here, first in first combination means A to B. To increase one more biscuit, he has to sacrifice four bananas. Now, in order to get one more biscuit, he has to sacrifice two bananas only. So it has come down to two. Earlier four, now two. Then only one. From three to two, he is getting. He has sacrificed only one banana to get one biscuit. So, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is decreasing order. That's what we call MRS is decreasing. Marginal rate of substitution. To get more biscuits, he has to sacrifice bananas. Just the biscuit that we have banana is not going to be able to get more biscuits. Why? Because our income is less. We have less income. We have limited income. We have limited income. We have to get more biscuits. यारों ने जस्ट जस्ट तबला कर दिया। ऐसे इंसान ने मीन इनका मिल वाला स्टोन दो। तो हर आदमी यारों वस्तु का ना बेर बेरे कॉम्बिनेशन तबो बेको। दैट्स व्हाट वी आर चलिंग यार। बट यारों वस्तु का ना बेर बेरे कॉम्बिनेशन तबो बेको। हाँ कॉम्बिनेशन तबड़ो वाला। वंदना जस्टी मर बेको अंदर है। � 
indifference curve is convex to origin. Convex to origin. Convex means this is shape is convex is Hing bandre concave. Hing bandre concave. Hing bandre convex. This is an examination we get. But for one mark, this will be asked in the examination. Why? Indifference curve convex to origin. This is the origin. It is convex to origin. Why it is convex to origin? Because MRS is decreasing. MRS is decreasing. What is MRS? Marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate of substitution means what? We have to sacrifice one good in order to get one more unit of other good. Exactly. So this is what we call MRS. MRS is decreasing. That's why indifference curve shape is convex. So convex shape of indifference curve. So this is what indifference curve. So we have now, now understood these many concepts. One budget line second one budget set budget set is also called as opportunity set budget line budget line and the impact of income change change in income over in uh, budget line so what's the impact of change in price over price line or budget line that's also we have seen now we have understood what is indifference curve? What is indifference schedule? Schedule means indifference schedule means the table which shows the various combination of two goods our consumer can purchase in a different combination. If the same thing is represented in a diagram, we can get indifference curve. So these are all the things we have understood. Let us go further. Now. So properties of indifference curve. Now we will be discussing. The properties of indifference curve. What is the meaning of properties? Properties means Gunalakshana Guru. Nature. Property means nature of indifference curve. This is the most important thing in examination. This is the six mask. What are the properties of indifference curve? Indifference curve and properties. What are the properties? Let us see the properties. The first one is Higher curve represent higher level of satisfaction. This is the first property of indifference curve. See here, higher curve represent higher level of satisfaction. Higher the indifference curve, higher the satisfaction. See here, IC1, indifference curve 1. This is IC2, indifference curve 2. Here two combinations are there, yes and R. Yes and or between these two combinations which gives maximum satisfaction to our consumer exactly why because R gives more satisfaction because it gets more amount of goods yes yes combination this gives him less amount of goods see here this is less amount this one is more amount of goods so R gives him more satisfaction than S. So R lies in IC2, S lies in IC1. So IC1 having less satisfaction, IC2 gives him more satisfaction. That's why higher the indifference curve, higher the satisfaction. So if another one comes here, IC3, our consumer goes to IC3 because it gives him more cons uh, uh, satisfaction than IC2. That's why more the indifference curve, more the satisfaction. Next one. Can't be vertical. Indifference curve can't be vertical. Can't be vertical means it not be vertical to OX axis. OX axis can either vertical or vertical. Vertical or vertical. See here, IC curve vertical like If you purchase more and more way good, you need not to sacrifice this one. Adre hangagala reality nali. You see there, you can move one the good and a way good and a just the way good and a yet x good and a karana marble. Adre ili, idea at the IC curve in the vertical in the karana marble than gala. It is still your OM amount any there, a tail there. 
ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನದು ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಬೇರೆ ಗುಡ್ನ ಪಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ಕಾಗೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೈ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ವೈ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ವೈ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನ ಕಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳದೆ ಗೂಡೆ ವೈನ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡದೆ ಗೂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ನ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ವೈ because it shows equal sacrifice equal sacrifice means you are going to leave or you are going to sacrifice y good one y good to get one x good but already we have seen to get more of x more of y has y has to be sacrificed initially then it comes down it is not uniformly we are going to sacrifice now idana one good na padkolodikke innond good na ನಾವು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು 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 ಆ ಥರನೋ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು 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 ಆ ಥರನೂ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಮೂರು ಎರಡು ಒಂದು ಆ ಥರ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬಿಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಬಿಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದು ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಥರ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಈ ಥರ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಏನರ್ಥ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದೇ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಹೀಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೌ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಹೀಗೂ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೀಗೂ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೀಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ your income should be more but our consumer having limited income namatra kadme avu solpane dudide hagagi eradanu jaasti jaasti tagolakagala one jaasti tagobeku andre one kadme maagalebeku adre ille en torustha ide one jaasti aagtide innondu jaasti aagta ide ee nodi y1 y2 y3 x1 x2 x3 so ai sikkaru hingirbeku antandre avaru income jaasti aagtare hogtaru adu hagagalve reality nalli ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುವಾಗ ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ವೈ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ನ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತಗೋಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ವೈನ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆದರೆ ಇದು ಹಂಗೆ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದು ವೈನ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಎಕ್ಸು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಕರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಅದು ಪಾಸಿಟಿ
ಯಾಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನೋ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಒಂದ್ ವೇಳೆ ಹೀಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಆಗ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಫೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಹಿಂಗಿದ್ರೆ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಿಂಗಿದ್ರೆ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ಗೆ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಇದು ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಆಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಸರಿ ಇದೆ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಆನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ ಹೌ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ so now we will be discussing that to understand this one equilibrium on indifference curve three things to be satisfied one condition number one three conditions should be there should touch budget line so i say curve should touch budget line second one px should be equal to mux what is px price of x price of x good should be equal to mux mux means what marginal utility of x marginal utility of x what is marginal utility of x marginal utility means what utility he is getting from x u x good in the same way third condition py should be equal to muy that means price of y should be equal to marginal utility of y good so in order to say that a consumer is in equilibrium over indifference curve two things should be satisfied one it should touch budget line second one px by py should be equal to mux by muy so then we can say that consumer will be in equilibrium if these conditions are fulfilled so it can be seen in our diagram let us see 